everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Camilla. I'm a future trainee solicitor at a top 55 UK law firm. And on this channel, I make videos about law careers and general lifestyle stuff. In today's video, as you can probably tell from the title, it's going to be my top five luxury bags that you can wear to work. Now wearing luxury to work is a little bit difficult. I really don't advise wearing anything too kind of bling blingy or um, obviously designer because I just don't think it looks that great. People could make assumptions about your financial situation which might actually detriment your career in the long run. Imagine if you go to your boss and try to argue that you need a pay rise or deserve a pay rise but because you've been wearing thousand pound handbags to work people might think you actually don't need the money or you might get overlooked for a promotion or a pay rise because people think you're obviously doing really well and that's obviously not your, your fault or anything to do with you and and what you wear to work shouldn't have an impact on that but it could do so I would just always wear something very understated to work which is a good quality because you want to look well presented and polished but there's a fine line between looking well presented and polished and wearing good quality um, accessories and then going the other way and just being completely like over the top and looking maybe materialistic and I just don't I think people could judge you and and you just want to kind of play it safe and be a little bit vanilla at work so as I kind of alluded it doesn't mean you can't wear designer to work it just means that you should pick your pieces very carefully and try not to wear anything which is too obvious or has huge logos on or is really identifiable as a particular bag. Not only could people judge you, your bag could go out of fashion very quickly. Something with big logos on or just being very obviously designer um, could kind of go out of fashion and you might not want to carry it anymore and I just think that for work it's always better to keep something that you can you can invest money in but will last you throughout you know five or ten years of your career and something that you don't need to keep updating all the time so without further ado i'm going to break down the five luxury bags that i think are perfect for work so the first bag that i think is absolutely perfect for work and i love it even more because it's vegan is the ralph lauren keaton tote bag it's 169 pounds so it you know it's not it's not cheap, but at the same time, it, it's not something that you're going to have to save up for months and months and months for, hopefully. Um, obviously, if you're just starting off in your career, then it might not be that accessible to you. But I think kind of as you, as you work, you can maybe put away like a little bit every month and get to the point where you can invest in a really good quality handbag that's going to last you for five, ten years. So this stunning tote bag comes in tan and black. And it's big enough to carry all of your essentials, such as your laptop um, and anything else that you need to take to work. What I love about this bag is that it's vegan leather, which is just amazing for me. And also that it's big enough to carry everything that you need. And it's also got a zipper at the top. So it's perfect if you're commuting on the tube where you don't want pickpockets to put their hands inside your bag and take whatever they want. Um, so yeah, having a having a zip is a really nice touch. The Ralph Lauren logo is also really small and understated, so I don't think it's something that people will think, oh, look at her bag, like, you know, she's being really blingy or whatever. I, I think that it's really understated and just looks like a nice quality, classic handbag that that will not go out of date quickly either. And I think at £169, it's... It's expensive, but I bought bags from Zara, which were which was fifty pounds, and that was back in two thousand and twelve. So it's probably even more expensive than that now, and it just wasn't good quality. It didn't last very long. Thread started coming off of it. It lost its color. It just looked all like it just looked like it'd been through the ringer a few times. You know what I mean? And I just think investing in something that's more luxury than a high street brand is going to last you longer. That bag, which cost me fifty pounds lasting me less than a year imagine you spend 50 pounds every few months on a on a high street bag and they just fall apart well actually you might as well have just spent the 160 pounds in the first place on a high quality bag that's going to last you so the second bag that i think is such a great choice for an everyday work bag is the coach willow tote if you're looking for designer quality at a midpoint range, I think Coach is such a good choice. They have really high quality handbags and they're not ridiculously priced. 
The bags are beautifully made, really classic, really high quality leather, and they won't break the bank. So I think they're just such a great choice. Coach have loads of really great bags. So, I mean, I would definitely recommend having a look at that brand if you're looking for a high quality work bag. But this Willow Tote is my favorite of the range because it's, £295 so it's one of the slightly less expensive coach bags but it also appears to be the biggest. It looks like you could fit literally all of your stuff in there, your laptop, whatever you need to fit in there and it would really do the trick. It's a classic Neverfull style which is not going to go out of fashion. We know that Neverfull bags have been around for ages and I don't think they're going anywhere so it's something that you can wear with every single outfit and again the logo is really nice and small in just metal hardware so it's not going to be something that's obviously blingy and not going to attract too much attention but it's still a luxurious bag that's going to make you look really polished without breaking the bank and without drawing too much unwanted attention to what you're wearing. It comes in a range of different colours so you can either play it safe and go for black or even pick out a more, you know, unusual colour. If you're like me, wear black a lot or, you know, neutral colours a lot, then it might be nice to pick up a slightly different colour, but it obviously depends on what type of industry you work in. If I was gonna go for this bag, I'd probably get black because most of my handbags are black apart from one or two. So I, I just like wearing black because I know it's going to go with everything. But if you want to add a pop of colour, then this is a great bag because it comes in a range of different colours. As I said earlier, it's a never full style. So that kind of means that there's not going to be a zip right at the top. So yes, potentially there could be some security issues if someone decides to put their hand in your bag. But there is a zipped um, compartment which you can put all of your like valuables in. So that shouldn't really be too much of an issue. And you can fit a 13 inch laptop in there as well. So it's just such a perfect bag. I, I actually really wanna get one for myself. The third bag that I think is a fantastic choice for work is the Kate Spade Dome laptop bag. This is a great bag if you don't really like the unstructured, never full style, but you want something a little more structured, then I think this would be a great bag for you because it's got more of a dome sort of shape and it's got a zip all the way around the top and is specifically designed to fit a laptop in and anything else that you need to carry to work. There's no huge logos on there, it's not going to look flashy but it's going to look high quality and elevate any outfit that you're wearing and just make you look really nicely polished and put together. I think it's a fantastic choice for, for anyone that needs to carry a laptop to work. It's 275, which I think is really reasonable, um, especially for a bag which is going to last you for many, many years. The fourth bag, which I think is perfect for work, is slightly more in a higher price range. And when I say slightly more, I actually mean quite a lot. Um, and it's the Saint Laurent shopper bag with a removable envelope pouch. This bag is 840 pounds, so it's a little bit more expensive, but I think it's for those people who maybe are a bit more established in their career, have a little bit more extra cash to spend and just want to buy a bag which is going to last them for many, 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 many years and have that touch of luxury which the other bags, they do have, but maybe not quite as much because they're not from Saint Laurent, which is a you know really, really luxurious designer. So um, yeah, this is a great bag for, for those who want to kind of step it up a notch. Again, it's in that Neverfull sort of style, well, more of a shopper, so it's not quite as um, open at the top. So I think it's a great choice. It's going to fit your laptop in. It's going to fit everything you need in. There's also an envelope pouch, which you can put anything that you need to keep safe in there as well. Um, and it's just, I just love signing on bags. I think they're absolutely stunning. And again, the logo is really small. It just says Saint Laurent, like in very small text. Unless people get really close to you, they're probably not gonna know where it's from. Probably not going to know it's from Saint Laurent. They're probably not going to know it's 900 pounds. So I think it's really good, a really good luxury bag because it's so understated. It doesn't have a big Chanel logo on it. It's not covered in Louis Vuitton graphics. It's just, it's just a tiny little Saint Laurent um, logo. And like I said, no one's even gonna be able to read that unless they're really up close to you. It's not going to look flashy. It's just a tiny little logo with Saint Laurent. So if you want to step it up a notch and carry a luxury bag, but not have people thinking, wow, this girl earns too much, 
then um, I think it's a great choice. And the final bag that I want to show you today is one that I personally have myself and that I've had since 2017 and I have used it so, so, so many times. It's definitely my most used handbag ever. I've taken it to work, I've taken it on holiday, I've taken it out with friends. It is the most versatile bag ever and it's the Saint Laurent Sac Du Jour in size medium. So this is a sac du jour, I'm absolutely obsessed with it, it's such a great size. I have a small iMac, is that what it's called? Laptop, and it fits in there but it pokes out at the top. To be honest, it's not comfortable to carry. So if you're taking a laptop, then I don't really think it's gonna be big enough for a laptop, but they do do a bigger size, which you could maybe try out. Um, this is the medium and I think when I bought it, it was 1,700, but I believe it's about 2,300 pounds now. Um, and it's it's just so long wearing, like it looks in really good condition, but I can't tell you how many hundreds of times I've worn this bag. I've taken it on a tube, I've had it at work, I've walked around London with it, and it just looks brand new. So um, yeah, I really recommend it. And let me show you the lock, which I think is a really nice touch, but I usually keep it in here so it doesn't get scratched. Yep, here's the little padlock, which I think is really, really cute, and it even comes with some keys. So, yeah, I mean, I just think it's such a beautiful bag, and I would highly, highly recommend it. And um, it doesn't go out of style either, it's a really classic kind of shape. And if you can see the, this concertina style at the side, you can actually make it bigger. Yeah, you can make it bigger like this. So I just think it's a fantastic bag. And if you do want to go for the very luxury um, style and you want to spend a bit more money, then I would 100% recommend this bag. But I know it's really not in everybody's price range, especially if you're just starting out your career. So, um, so yeah, I mean, that is maybe something to think about a few years down the line. I expect that that bag is going to last me forever. I am never going to get rid of it. I love it so much and and from experience I've been carrying that bag now for six years and no one's ever really looked at me and thought wow that's an expensive bag or or oh look at your bag like that's never happened before it looks really subtle unless you're in the industry you're, no one's gonna know that this is a two and a half thousand pound bag are they realistically no in the general, like, in a day-to-day -day office, I just don't think people are going to recognise where this is from or how expensive it is. It just looks like a really nice quality leather handbag and that is just the most important thing. I hope you found this video helpful and if you're starting out in your career or you've got work experience coming up or anything like that and you want a nice quality handbag, I hope that this video has maybe given you some ideas about where to look, what kind of brands that you can look at and what sort of styles that you might want to use. Please don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and you want to follow my journey to becoming qualified as a lawyer in England. Let me know in the comments if you've got any of the bags that I've mentioned and what you think about them. And let me know if you want to see any other videos that are similar to this. You can also follow me on Instagram at Legal Millie. Until next time.